against what the Patriots did look pretty small. Right now, we want to bring in Congressman Dan Beneshek, who's from Michigan. Thanks for being with us, Congressman. Uh, thanks for having me on, John. All right, it's my pleasure. We're going to talk about the latest developments with the Obama trade initiatives in a moment. But first, we want to talk about a big problem at VA medical centers across the country, including your home state of Michigan. Uh, for a primer, here's a clip from a local Fox station that gives us some insight on what we're dealing with. Prescription drugs. An autopsy found too many of them in the body of 35-year-old Jason Simkuski of Stevens Point. The death of the former Marine came last August while a patient at the VA Medical Center in Toma. Federal investigators are reviewing Simkuski's death as part of an alleged pattern of overprescribing drugs at Toma. We stand now with that federal investigation into this issue. Hey, listen, we've been working on uh, making the VA more accountable for their a poor treatment of patients with chronic pain for a long time. We've been holding hearings both in the subcommittee and at the uh, full committee level to tell you the truth. You know, the, the VA doesn't have the right staff for managing chronic pain. You know, they're saddling uh, primary care providers with taking care of patients with chronic pain issue, and the only tool they have at their disposal is narcotics. And to me, as a physician who's been taking care of patients for over uh, 30 years, I know that narcotics is the last choice. Right. We need to have is our, our patients have access to more uh, pain specialists. You know, as a, as a surgeon, I'm used to uh, dealing with patients with pain. And at a certain point, you have to just send them to a specialist to let they make sure their particular source of the pain is identified and treated, not, not necessarily with narcotics. Yeah, right. As you mentioned, you are a physician, so you have experience and knowledge with this. And another example of why it might be wise to let some of our vets go to places other than just VA medical centers to get the care that they do desperately need right now, right? Absolutely. You know, last year we uh, passed the CHOICE Act, which uh, gives patients uh, from the VA more choice than where to go. You know, unfortunately, the VA has not been implementing this plan as well as they should have and with not giving patients the opportunity to seek their own care in the private community. Uh, and the VA has been ineffective in, uh, you know, getting more specialists on board. And, you know, the problem with the VA is they keep saying they're going to do better. They keep saying, well, we're improving, we're improving. But then, you know, they don't really have any metrics to prove that. And they don't have anybody whose name is on the uh, idea of getting it done. So whenever you ask them who's in charge, they don't know. Yeah, and that's a big question mark around Bob McDonald still at this point. Uh, we could talk about VA problems all day if we wanted to. Unfortunately, we don't have that much time. But before we go, Congressman, we got about a minute left. I did want to get your perspective, or perspective rather, on where things stand now with these Obama trade initiatives. Are they going to pass or fail? Uh, we're going to continue to work on making this happen. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the plan. I know they're going to work on the, the TAA portion uh, a little bit later this summer. But I'm, I'm hopeful that we get this done because trade is important for America and American jobs and you know, I want to see it get ha happen. So we hope we get our Democratic colleagues to support us and move forward with uh, helping those that have been laid off uh, from, you know, trade-related uh, job loss. And, uh, you know, I hope I'm continuing to support it. All right, Congressman Dan Beneshek, thanks so much for being with us, sir. We'll have to have you back, and uh, we'll get your take. I, I think the GOP is ready for a Supreme Court ruling on Obamacare, are they not? Yeah, we are working on that as well. So we're going to see what they actually say before we come up with a response, of course. Makes sense. Makes sense. That's like the media likes to do sometimes, right? Come out with a response first. <laughs> yeah. But we appreciate your time, sir. Thanks so much for being with us. You can find uh, Dan Beneshek representing Michigan's 1st District on Twitter, at Congressman Dan. Good to be with you, sir. Thank you very much for having me on. It's our pleasure. Much more to come here up on Newsmax now. Stand around, stick around, rather. We're going to talk a little bit more about Rachel Dolezal in our roundtable discussion right after this.